All right, folks, as some of you know, um, got about two weeks before I go trap my bird and I'm making some last minute or last, yeah, last minute changes in my muse here. So I'm gonna give you guys, our folks a rundown of this here. Uh, I'm going away from the PVC, completely away from the PVC. It's just too, I think it's just too busy in here. It's too much. Uh, I was trying to do a little bit too much. Uh, and I was trying to get a little too fancy with this. It just need to be basic. So with that said, the plans right now is I'm gonna run one two by four across from here all the way to probably there. Uh, I thought about there, but I think it's too close to the window. You wanna to try to stay away from the window at least two feet if you can. I guess if the bird starts baiting and you don't have to worry about them hitting the feathers against the window and the, and the bars. Uh, and uh, if some of you folks may not know that uh, a bird goes through a molt and they change their feathers out every year, but their feathers can dam be damaged pretty easily, considering. So what you're trying to do is prevent the, the bird from hurting itself or damaging the feathers. So I've done everything I could do to try to stiffen this up. You see, I've added bars down here since the last video and over here. And as far as a bird hitting, coming down on it, or even hitting it at an angle, it's good, but it's still shaky. And I just, I've done too much to try to make it, to try to, to make it stable. And it's just, it's too, it's just too much there, I think. So I'm gonna go basic with this. Uh, I added a window. And the reason behind adding a window is part of my training method here that I'm gonna do. And uh, I'll go over that in another video once I uh, once I trap my hawk. I'll go over that with you folks here. Uh, but I want uh, the bird to be able to see out toward the toward my yard, my yard, and at least see me and see my dogs. Is, uh see buddy there he's gonna be or she's gonna be hunting with those dogs there at least her and uh so i want the bird to be able to see out here i've raised my perches up a hair or well, i'm going to raise them up a hair as you can see there just a, just a little now with that being said i've got the other the other wood here i gotta get my level but i'm gonna come out with that and i may and this is where I gotta get my wood, but I may attach, I may attach that runner from here to the edge of this board that sticks out here. So it may not even go to that board there, it may just attach. We'll see how it looks and just kind of how it flows. Uh, let's see here, I'll show you. Stick it up here. All right, so it's gonna stick out there. And the other board would run kind of, so they're already going to be close. So I'm just thinking I may just, if I stable this thing up enough, I may just attach it. And uh, what I'm planning on doing is just get me a piece of this plywood here I cut out for the window. And I did a shabby job on cutting that window. I, I was using the uh, saw, uh, I'll show it to you guys here in a second. But I'm gonna cut it. Uh, gonna cut the, the plywood out. Uh, strip it. We're going down here, so I can screw it in really well. About four screws, and then of course, angle it to meet this. So it'll be a it'll be a triangle there. It won't be a lot sticking out, and it'll stable. And this is pretty stable. I got three screws in it now. But of course, you know, of course, you see it doesn't wobble. You know, like this. So. I need to see my cut job there, guys. But uh, I've got to put bars up just like I've got here. I've got to put bars up. The bird can't fly through there just like you can't fly through here. And of course, I got to put a screen. And I got screen material already where I've done my porch. Got the screen material out here because you want to keep the bugs, flies, mosquitoes. You want to keep all that out of here as best you can. So, adding another window. 
redesigning my perches. I think it's going to be a lot more streamlined and just and uh, and with the with the with the perches being two by four, I'm just going to cover them. It's going to get a little bit more surface area. I think I'm going to still try the rope on one and put the uh, other material on the other. And see how they just you know, and of course I've added two cameras also, folks. And I'm trying to figure out how to live stream these cameras so I can leave them on playing on YouTube. You guys can just tune in and check it out. And right now, I'm going to leave this one here. It's a little bounce to it, but it's stable. I'm just going to leave that there, folks. Of course, yes, sir. this is your highest perch. This is where the hawk should go at night. And, uh, and perch. And it's, of course, backs itself up in the little corner. All right, folks, you got any questions, any concerns, uh, any ideas? Anything I can do better on this, let me know. Thank you, folks, for checking it out. All right, folks. Uh, done for today. All I need to do here is wrap my purchase all the way down but I'll show you folks what I did I just got me a little mess here I gotta clean up but see what I did here of course I cut my window out barred it up this is my other windows here so one thing I have noticed since I've obviously since I've put this window in today is I've got more airflow yeah got, got more air coming through these two windows over here and of course in the winter time what I'll do is of course I'll shut those two windows out there. This is gonna be the bird's point of view here, basically. And I think that she'll probably spend most of her time on this perch, not because it's higher, it's, I tried to make it pretty much even, but I think there's gonna be more activity out here for the bird to be interested in. Of course, now a squirrel pops up around one of these oak trees. And, but who knows? And I'm thinking this one perch here can can uh, cover this window here, and then turn and cover this window here. Bird may even find a good good uh, neutral spot here on this perch here. So look at all three windows. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, we'll uh, adjust it if we need to. But I wind up supporting this with some two by two by threes. I don't really think that'll be a problem. If if it's going to be a problem, then I'll put a piece of plywood over this crack here. Uh, on the outside, here we've got some screen material, and it's a two by three in between the screen and the vertical. Slats, so the bird shouldn't be able to get to it and tear it up. We'll see. All right, folks. Well, uh, that's my little project for today. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna take the. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna take the covering that I was using on the on the uh, PVC and try to run it down here. See what happens. So. All right, folks. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe to the channel if you found this intriguing or interesting at all and i'd appreciate it oh one thing before i go i will i do need to put a piece of plywood or something up here like i did here because that's a horizontal surface there we can't have that for the bird matter of fact i think i'll do it as soon as i hang uh stop this video again like and subscribe folks i appreciate it thanks